Everybody knows how to perform a Google search, but very few know what exactly happens behind the scenes when you enter a URL in the browser. First, let's take the example of a URL. Now before we understand what happens after we enter a URL, let's understand the composition of this URL. Here, HTTP is the scheme of the URL, which tells the browser to send a connection to the server using HTTP. Example.com is the domain name of the site. Item slash clothing is the path on the server where the requested resource, shirt in this case, is located. And lastly, shirt is the name of the resource you want to visit. So when we first type this URL in the browser and hit enter, the browser first looks up the IP address for the domain with a domain name system or DNS lookup. A DNS is like a phone book, which maintains and maps the name of the URL and the particular IP address it links to. Every URL on the internet has a unique IP address which is of the computer which hosts the server of the website requested. To make the DNS lookup process fast, data is cached at different layers such as browser cache, OS cache, local network cache, and ISP cache. If the IP address cannot be found at any of the caches, the browser goes to DNS servers to do a recursive DNS lookup until the IP address is found. Now, once the IP address is found, the browser establishes a TCP connection with the server. A TCP connection is a communication standard for delivering data and messages through networks. Basically, a TCP connection is what establishes or allows communication between the browser and the server. Now after the TCP connection is established, the browser then sends an HTTP request to the server. The request looks something like this. Here, shirt is the resource you're looking for and 1.1 is the HTTP version being used. And then, after the browser sends an HTTP request to the server, the server processes the request and sends back the response. If the response was successful, then usually a status code of 200 is sent and a similar HTML response might be returned. And then lastly, the browser simply renders the HTML content. So this, in a nutshell, is what happens when you enter a URL in the browser. I suggest you also look deeper into the concepts of TCP connection, DNS system, and the IP address, because some understanding of the concepts of networking is always helpful in web development. So that's all for the video. If you found it insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe.